Hi, I'm Becky of Picnic Ceramics. Picnic Ceramics is my little business and it's something I started a couple of years ago with actually making ceramic jewellery, kind of like these ones, well exactly like these ones that I'm wearing here. Um, and it was really started by me sort of liking the look of ceramic jewellery and the feel of it, that it was something sort of really hand handcrafted, um, but everything that was around was sort of this very clunky and uh, I don't know just not my style and I sort of decided okay that was it I was going to make my own I was working with clay anyway and I was going to figure out how I could make things that I wanted to wear out of out of clay and they started my process and that was about eight years ago when I was working started working with clay anyway and I used what I had then and it just wasn't refined enough and it wasn't delicate enough and I kept experimenting and learning and chatting to people about different ways to make clay really really thin but still strong and something that would look beautiful. And so I sort of think I refined that process enough about two years ago, and that's the process that I use now to make my jewellery. I like the name Picnic because for me, that's what the jewellery is. It's this, it's laid back, it's everyday jewellery. It's, it's simple, but it's also something like special. I mean, the name actually I came up with probably about four years ago before it was anything. I just liked the name. Um, and... At that point, I was still just making jewellery for myself and my sisters and just a few of their friends. And it sort of, I enjoyed it more and more and eventually got to the point of being like, this is something I want to do. I want to, I want to really make it my own. But the way I make my jewellery is I use earthenware casting slip. Often people think it's porcelain and it's not. <laughs> and I think that's part of what I love about it is, it, you know, people sort of have this perception that porcelain is this thin, dainty thing that you can easily make, you know, make look dainty because I started working with earthenware clay I was like that's what I'm going to use and I've found a way of you know firing it to the right temperature that it is strong and it is as durable as porcelain and um, so what I do is I actually cast very thin slabs out of casting slip earthenware casting slip and from those I cut my pieces of jewelry then they're dried and sort of refined a little bit and smoothed and then they get their first firing and from there they're painted by hand I have always on a hunt for new small tiny paintbrushes, a bit of an obsession. And then they have their second firing. And then lastly, they're glazed. And it glazes essentially a thin layer of glass. I mean, it's made up of all kinds of other things, but it, it gives a beautiful, glossy, transparent finish to them. So then it has its third firing, and then it's what you see as picnic jewellery. So currently, my jewellery is in, in three shops up in Joburg. They're the Kim Sachs Gallery in Parktown, the Windmill Gifts in Parkhurst, and then um, the Whippet Coffee Shop in Linden, which is a lovely little coffee shop. Um, in Cape Town, it's at a shop called Kin on Cliff, which is a beautiful shop, and they really, really support South African design and artistry and craft. And then in Pretoria, at Plus 27 Cafe. And you can also see everything at my website, which is picnicceramics.co.za. There's all this big other part of me that, that creates other ceramics and I throw on the wheel and I would love those products to sort of join the Picnic Ceramics line. And that's why I didn't want to call it Picnic Jewelry because I sort of, I deep down knew that it wouldn't always be jewelry. And, and I think the jewelry definitely will always be there, it'll always be a part of it. Um, but I'd really, I'd love for it to grow and for it to start incorporating other sort of household items, but also decorative items into, into that range.